on today's Apple Daily. As we talked about 52 days ago, Apple is working on a search engine. First hands on with the iPhone 12 mini emerges. Reverse wireless charging in iPhone 12s. And iCave answers. This is the Apple Daily. I'm David for living an iPad and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, leaks and rumours every weekday at 12 UTC, like this video, subscribe and join the notification squad by ringing the bell so you can get a shout out in the next video. Apple to release their own search engine. As we talked about 52 days ago, uh, the tech sphere yesterday exploded with news that Apple might be creating their own search engine to rival Google. The US Department of Justice as well as the European Parliament are both taking aim at antitrust cases in the tech community right now as the Financial Times reports that Apple's web crawlers have been more active recently. Right now, Google pays annually Apple a pretty decent chunk of change between 8 and 12 billion dollars a year to be the default search engine for Apple's devices and accounts for between 14 and 21 percent of Apple's annual profits. So all the technical details of how a search engine works are really quite dull. Apple has to send out these little crawler bots that look through the internet, catalog everything and work out what's the most relevant. That's what Google has been really good at in the past. But far more importantly, what will Apple call something like this? Apple Search, Spotlight, Siri, Finder Online, sounds a bit retro in a kind of AOL online kind of way. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think they should call it. First hands on with the iPhone 12 mini emerges online and disappears just as quickly. Somehow somebody managed to get their hands on an iPhone 12 mini and unboxed it on YouTube. Now, they also went through pretty much all the features. It's very, very much exactly as we expected. It's a much smaller version of the iPhone 12. Uh, it has already been pulled down from YouTube I don't know whether that's through uh, some sort of threats from Apple or just maybe it was uploaded by accident too early. Pre-orders go live next Friday for the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that's when preview units will likely go out to the reviewers and uh, review embargoes will likely lift on the following Tuesday. Of course, we're just waiting for John Prosser to confirm that as usual. Reverse wireless charging in iPhone 12 line. According to Apple in the FTC filing, in addition to being able to be charged by a desktop WPT charger puck, 2020 iPhones also support WPT charging function at 360 kilohertz to charge accessories. Currently, the only accessory that can be charged by iPhones is an external potential Apple accessory in future. My money is this being AirTags and future AirPods cases, and while I don't think it would be a practical top up throughout the day kind of feature. Uh, when you're traveling uh, with your iPhone plugged in with the cable, it would be really convenient to be able to wirelessly charge your other devices at the side of your bed without having to take any extra accessories. Seems sensible to me. And iCave answers. Today, uh, our question comes from Krishna Games. Do you know if Apple will release Macs with ARM A14 chips? To be honest, we don't know anything at this point at all. Everything that we hear is rumours, it's speculation. We don't know if they will release them with Apple A14 chips or if it will be a different name for it or if it will be completely different chips. Let's assume that they are going to release one with A14. Where would it stack up in terms of performance? Uh, is the A14 powerful enough to run a MacBook? Well, let's have a look. So the A14 in the iPad Air 4 without any active cooling, remember, gets a single core score of 1585, multi-core score of 4170, and a metal score of 12,521. This is all according to the latest scores in the uh, Geekbench 5 benchmarks. The highest performing Macs right now on single core are the iMac 2020 Intel Core i9-10910, uh, which has a single core score of, of 1,252. So in single core, the iPad Air 4 is about 20% faster than the fastest Intel Mac right now. In terms of multi-core, it's a different story because obviously the Macs uh, have a lot more processors. In terms of performance uh, benchmarks, it is closest right now to a 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch with a four core i7 uh, 8569U processor. So that's a quad core processor at 2.8 gigahertz and that scores 4166, but this is with active cooling built in. And in terms of metal graphics, for an entry level MacBook, uh, you would probably be expecting Intel Iris graphics. Their highest performing chip at the moment for metal graphics is the Intel Iris Plus graphics, which scores 8498, uh, way under the 12,521 of the 
uh, A14. And the closest uh, sort of standalone graphics cards would be a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 or a Radeon Pro 555. And those score respectively 12,554 and 12,468. So I think that is pretty convincing that a entry level, maybe $800 MacBook with an A14 would be absolutely, absolutely fine in terms of everything that you needed to do. It's going to be better than an i7 13-inch MacBook Pro from last year. That seems pretty good for an entry point uh, MacBook. Um, blows away anything with, uh, with built-in graphics at the moment and kind of does pretty well compared to some of the laptop GPUs that you would see out there. So, what do you think? And of course, if you want a question answered on our shows, all you need to do is comment down below with hashtag IKFORANSWERS, and those are the questions that I pick from to answer on the show. I don't want to just answer anyone's questions because you might not want your name mentioned on the show. But if you put that hashtag in there, then it will be considered for the show. So far, I think every single one that has been asked, we have answered. And Notification Squad, uh, welcome to our newest member. I am Mike and welcome to my world. That is a hell of a long YouTube name, but I like it. If you want to join the notification squad, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and let me know in the comments that you've done so, and you will get a shout out on the end of next video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.